Hello, I'm Gary Shotton, and I'm founder of IBB Talks, Inspiring Better Business, and today we're going to hear the second half of the life story of Alfred Matua, uh, a wonderful businessman in the country of Kenya, Nairobi, Kenya area, and he owns a mechanic shop, and he has many workers there. It's great to hear his story. We're going to hear the second half of his life story, where he actually started in the business ownership segment. He started first time as a partner, and as I would advise, it didn't work out too well. And now he's on his own. God is his partner. You're going to enjoy what you hear. Here's uh, Alfred Matua. Uh, after one year, I remember I asked him, how much do you want per month? How much business do you want per month? He told me, if you give me five million per month, I'll be okay. And we did eight million by the grace of God. So he worked and worked and worked until the workshop was full and he had nowhere to keep vehicles and uh, his statement was good and uh, things were not working. And after five years I thought things were working very well and uh, God still wanted to take me to the next level. And uh, a friend of mine approached me and he told me you are still foolish. You think you are earning a lot of money. The much you can earn is the much you can earn. You need to come out, leave that job. You come out, God has blessed me with, his, with the business, I'm doing well, I've made money, and I'm looking for brothers whom we can grow to the next level together. And I think you are one of them. And uh, I gave a notice, I did not have money to start a business. We were to start, begin a business in Kikuyu, a place, a place called Kikuyu in Kenya, Kiambu County. And when we went there, this brother had built a nini house. He did not know how to do cars, but he wanted me to assist him to do cars. So we partnered together, we registered a company, Universal Auto Touch Limited, and we were there. Uh, we did not have capital, we did not have uh, machines. By the grace of God, somebody loaned us some machines from the uh, US, which we were to work, get money, and pay. So for the first six months, God gave us grace. We had business, the place was full, we had nowhere to keep vehicles, we had a car wash, it was performing well. One year later, things were not working. The brother felt is like uh, now, it's like I was doing, controlling everything and uh, we had to part ways. So he told me now, get out, leave my house alone, go by your own, you leave me alone. So my brother, we are brethren, we love God, let's part in peace. He told me, get the Kanban, I'll sign the Kanban out for you, get the Kanban. Go alone, look for another place to do business. I did not have a place to do business, so I went around looking for a place, but I was believing God for a big premise, a, a, a bigger premises. But I did not have money to build that premises. And I had a notice of three months. So that was a year ago, uh, when uh, I was, went around looking for everywhere. The corporates who had given me business, including the insurance companies, had known of the place, like the good Kikuyu place where we were. And it's like now, it's me and God. So I remember I went up somewhere, I stood and I told God, now that I don't have a partner, I want to make you my partner. I want to partner with you in this business, so that you can work with me, so that you can fight for me. When I, whatever I require, you will provide. You are my partner now. Now that I'm left alone as the, the sole the proprietor of the company, you are my partner. So as I was going around, there is this a place called Muri Road, where the place was deserted, there was nothing, and uh, it, was, there was, uh, it was bushy. I went looking for a place and I saw a place where they were mining uh, these stones, uh, no electricity, no water. And uh, I went, I talked to the owner, I asked for a lease of around 10, 15 years to do business, there was no road, and uh, by the grace of God, I called my, business, my bishop, and he came and dedicated the place, and uh, laid a foundation stone. I went uh, next to the place in uh, somebody's home, I got in like, a small room, a wooden uh, house, a room, and uh, in that room, we made it our office, my administrator was there, and I called people, I told people, now that's where we are, that's where Universal Hutto is. In that place, uh, we began to build by faith. We did not have money. And by the grace of God, in that place where we, were, we went to station, where there was no road, God performed a miracle. The government decided to connect Karen 
and Waiyaki Way to make a road. The road you can now see here. It began immediately, we began. Where people coming from Karen, going to Westlands, always go through. People coming from Gongu, going to Westlands and Nairobi, they use this road. People coming from Westlands, going to Ongata and Gorogai, going to the river, they use this road. By the grace of God, the place began to, started to be busy. Now, the place where we were working on, in one year, God gave us a business which we did not have in the last two years. By the grace of God, we were able to spend five million to make the house you can see now. Without getting a loan from anybody, without uh, borrowing anybody, and uh, we've been able to make this house, to electrify, to make electric fence, to put an alarm, to, uh, to, to, make, an, to, to, make, to make a good place to bring vehicles. By the grace of God, uh, we have seen corporates coming to us to do business with us, uh, including places like Kuyo Mission Hospital, the county government, the police, the HP, the district commissioners, and uh, the insurance companies. By the grace of God, we are doing heavy commercial vehicles, we are doing light commercial vehicles, we are doing services for people and uh, from around. By the grace of God, we are doing from small vehicles and very expensive vehicles are coming to our garage. And uh, by the grace of God, still, we've seen people who are working together at Toyota come to work with us here. Very qualified technicians, our turnaround and uh, the kind of money we are making monthly uh, is unbelievable. So we thank God and we want to tell everybody that it's possible. You don't need money to begin a business. You need the grace of God. The grace of God will lead you to where your passion is. And once you go where your passion is, uh, you don't talk about money, you don't talk about capital, you will be successful. So thank everyone, one of you for coming to see where we are. I can take you around, you see what we are doing, and uh, God will bless you as he blesses us.